Hi everybody, I'm Lori with Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary and Behavior Education LLC, a ranch where we live with lots of both domestic and wild animals and we try to live a harmonious life together. I have a life hack for you today if you live with both cats and snakes in your household. If you or someone in your household loves both cats and snakes, keeping both species safe from each other will be important to you. The following is some background information on felines and then some potential ways to harmoniously live with both species in your family. Let's start with where cats came from. Do they even belong in your household? Not really, they're an invasive species. The family Felidae seems to have appeared about 35 million years ago at the end of the Eocene epoch with the last common ancestor to our domestic cats and wild felids living around 11 million years ago in Eurasia. The lineage which resulted in domestic cats emerged about 6.2 million years ago, and it resulted in a species known as Felis sylvestris, and that was about 2 million years ago. Felis sylvestris contains five wild and geographically separated subspecies, including Felis sylvestris libica, or libica, however you pronounce that. It's L-Y-B-I-C-A, and that's the subspecies which eventually domesticated cats came from. Felis sylvestris was native to the Near East and Egypt, but not to the rest of the world. A commensal relationship developed between the Egyptian and Near, Near Eastern wildcats and the people that they lived around. So cats have ended up on every continent of the world except Antarctica, and thanks to, you guessed it, human-mediated dispersal. We all love cats, but they're an invasive species. Outside of the Near East, cats are invasive. They were translocated to the rest of the planet by people or hitchhiked on their own, following the grain and following the mice. Cats are also obligate carnivores, which means they can metabolize only animal protein. They have large carnassial teeth, large sharp incisors, and only vestigial molars. Their dentition has evolved for cutting and not chewing. Their sole purpose is to rip up meat, cut it up and slice it with their teeth and swallow it. They can be savage and they are top predators. They're very efficient killers, but they're also furry, fuzzy, cute little things that lots of us like to live with. However, free roaming and feral cats in the United States and Australia alone kill millions of reptiles. This includes birds. They kill millions of amphibians and small mammals each year, causing serious harm to native populations. So we should all be keeping our cats indoors. But what does that mean for our house snakes? Cats and snakes don't mix well. Cats can and will kill small snakes. We've had feral cats, unfortunately, kill garter snakes out here on our ranch. On the other hand, Cats can also be killed by large snakes and oftentimes are eaten in areas of the United States and in Australia by snakes, even those that we have in our home like carpet pythons if they're large enough. We have house cats and we have house snakes. So how do we live harmoniously with those two species that are natural enemies? Well, we don't want our cats harming or killing our snakes. And we also don't want them killed or eaten by our snakes. So what do we do? I'm going to show you some simple ways we've kept these two natural enemies safe from each other in our home. The following are a few options for consideration. And no, getting rid of the cat isn't one of them. Okay, here's method number one to keep your cats away from your snakes. Have a dedicated snake room, which you do not allow the cats to go inside. So this is a dedicated snake room. This was my first snake room, room when I initially got all my snakes. So there's 16 snakes, all the same species housed in this room. So I can keep this room the same temperature. I can keep the cats out of it. I can come spend time in this room and read, work on my laptop, handle the snakes, do whatever I need to. And there's no interference from the household cats. So this is definitely an option for you if you have both cats and snakes living in your house and you're able to dedicate a specific room to just the snakes, then you just keep the door closed. It's very simple. Keep the door shut, keep the cats out, and there's no issues. All 
All right, option number two, some kind of screen protection. If you've got a terrarium set up with a screen top, so either a glass terrarium, a glass aquarium, something with a traditional screen top, there's always the risk that your cats are gonna jump on top of it and fall through the screen. Even though this particular exoterra is in my dedicated snake room, it used to be in a different room of the house and the cats would jump on it all the time. So a good fix for this, if it's sort of a standard size aquarium, is to just go to a regular pet supply store, Petco, PetSmart, any place that sells these generic um, aquarium screen tops, except that they're not actually screen, they're um, some kind of stronger metal. And it can just fit, of course, measure your terrarium, but it can just fit right over the existing screen top on your Exoterra or whatever brand terrarium you're using. And it makes it so much stronger and the cats can jump on here and they aren't gonna fall through this metal mesh, which means they're not gonna come in contact with the screen top and they're not gonna fall through it. So this is an option for you if you have cats in the same room as your snake enclosure and you have a snake enclosure that's a standard aquarium size that you can buy one of these tops for um, and that has a screen top. You can just put this right over it and I haven't had any issues with this at all. It's this is another option where we have the snake enclosed in an exoterra but it's not really a standard size aquarium. So they don't make those metal mesh covers for them. This is um, an 18 by 18 by 24 inch long. And so what I did in this case, because this is not in my dedicated snake room, it's in a room of the house that the cats do have access to, is I saved the lid that this terrarium came with, and I just made a cutout in it for the lamp, because I'm using a heat lamp in this case. And so I made the cutout wide enough that it doesn't come in contact with the heat lamp, yet the cardboard sits firmly over the top of the exoterra, and if the cats jump on here, which they do, it doesn't bother the screen top at all. This doesn't collapse enough to come in contact with the actual screen mesh and it keeps the cats away from the snake and it prevents them from falling through the tops. So this is um, another example of an 18 um, by 18 by 18 cube. This one is Zoomed and again I just kept the packaging and I cut a hole out for the heat lamp and I put it right over the screen top so the cats can't interfere with the screen. Now this heat lamp is a really, really wide one and the bulb's in the center. So even though the edge of the heat lamp doesn't quite come in contact with the cardboard, but comes pretty close, this part's not getting hot enough to bother the cardboard at all. Okay, option number three is a dedicated cat room. This is a room of our house that we have set up with some cat stuff, cat towers, cat play pens, litter boxes, and we can put the cats all in this room and shut the door, keeping them away from the rest of the house. So in this case, Option number three, we have a dedicated room just for the cats where they can stay and they're not gonna interfere with any of the snakes in the home. Okay, here's option number four for you. Um, tubs, you can keep your snakes in tubs and still have it set up so that they're able to exhibit natural behaviors and have a good quality of life. And this particular snake is in a tub right now because he's under some close observation for some medical and nutritional issues. I need um, easy access and I need a, a clean setup so that I can observe what he's doing. But what I've done here, this is a two, two year old carpet python, um, is I have this bottom tub set up with a hide box that is flat on top so the water can be on it. And then I do have two perches in this bottom tub. I've cut a hole in the lid of the bottom tub and a hole in the bottom of the top tub so that it's two levels for the snake. So on the second level, I have a larger water dish because this one sometimes likes to do a little swimming. And then I have two more perches up here. 
So these plastic tubs with the locking lids are a great option for the cats because the cat cannot get in this. There's no way that the cat is gonna be able to get inside this tub. They can be knocked over easily. So as opposed to um, a heavy glass terrarium or a large PVC enclosure, the cats could jump off of this and, and knock it over. And so you just wanna be cautious about where you decide to put your tub set up. And if you've of course got a larger snake in a tub set up, you're gonna have a much, much larger tub. Um, and there's really nothing wrong with that as long as the snake's able to exhibit natural behaviors and it's the appropriate size for the animal that's using it. My only caution about this is make sure you get the tubs with the locking lids so the cats can't get the lid off or that if the cats knock the tub over, the lid doesn't come off and then either secure it somehow or put it in a location that would be very difficult for the cat to knock down. But the snake is safe in here from the cats as long as that lid doesn't come off. Option number five is to get some type of a PVC enclosure set up that is all molded plastic except for the front, which is typically going to be glass or, or plexiglass. And uh, this way there's no screen for the cats to get through. It's, it's very strong and durable. And if the cats jump on top, it just becomes a ledge for them to lie on or a platform for them to lie on. And they're not going to knock this down and they're not gonna fall through and get in the enclosure with your snake. So this is a good option if you've got cats in the same room with the snakes. These particular enclosures are vision, and they do come with this indentation in the top for you to put heat lamps and still stack them. And that is a type of screen, but it's really strong metal, and it's affixed tightly, and the cats can jump on that and they don't fall through. It's happened to me that they've jumped on that part. They're not heavy enough to break through that because it's not typical screen material. The only thing I found is that they can make the lamps slide off the back if you don't have the lamps attached to the wire mesh somehow. Okay, here's another one that fits into option number five, which is the molded plastic or PVC type enclosures. This is the Showcase brand. And I have th it stacked three high here, and the cats do jump around this, and I've never had any issues with it. Again, it's got the glass sliding front. Um, there's no screen ventilation that the cats are going to jump on and fall through. It's, they're, they're not going to knock this over. It does have the indentations for the heat lamps, both in the front, and you can see the screen down here. But it is very, very strong, thick mesh metal mesh. It's not a typical screen. And so the cats get on that sometimes, but it's not something that they're going to break through or cause any damage to. Um, it just becomes a ledge for them to lie on. So I haven't had any issues with the cats and these type of vision or showcase enclosures. And I'll show you a couple of more options along this route. All right, this is another um, category of option number five, which are the molded plastic or PVC enclosures. Uh, these are made by Reptile Basics, and there's no way the cats can get in here at all. They don't even have the wire mesh for the heat lamps. Um, these enclosures have plexiglass fronts, and they have vents cut into the back. So they are literally five sides of the plastic material with a front that is plexiglass, and the cats cannot get inside these, and there's nothing for them to fall through. So this is also an option that's out there for you. Here's an example of one of the subcategories of option number five, which is a molded plastic or PVC enclosure. This one's made by Neodesha and it's plastic on all sides. It's got a plexiglass front. It does have a screen top where you can put a heat lamp or for ventilation, but this screen top is double reinforced. It's actually a double wire mesh uh, two, two pieces of double wire mesh, one on top of the other. They're secured together. There's no way the cat can get in this, and um, it would be relatively difficult for the cat to knock it down. Now, this particular one is in my dedicated snake room, so the cats don't mess with it at all, 
but this is an example of an enclosure that you could have in a room where there is going to be a cat. And while it might irritate the snake to have the cat sniffing at the top or jumping on it, um, both the cat and the snake are going to be safe with this type of enclosure. Okay, so this is kind of the last one out of um, option number five that I want to show you. And it's another example of a Neodesha enclosure. Um, I think it's not called Neodesha anymore. It's npicages.com. This is molded plastic on all sides except the front. And this one has glass sliding doors. And then again, it has sort of a wire mesh here for you to put a lamp and a wire mesh over here on the side for a heat lamp. And this is double reinforced. There are two layers of wire mesh here. The cats can jump on top of this and they are not going to fall through anything. and They are not going to knock this over. And then just to wrap up and so that you can see them in comparison, um, again, these are two examples of molded plastic or PVC type of enclosures where it's plastic on all sides except the front and the cat's not going to be able to get into this. And the areas where they do have ventilation are wire mesh, very, very strongly secured and not an actual traditional screen. And so even if the cats stand on this, they're not going to fall through it and they're large enough that they're not going to be easily knocked over. And then this is the terrarium example with um, the added protection on the top. So it's just a regular Exoterra terrarium with a traditional screen top, but I bought this extra aquarium cover that is wire mesh and I put that over the top. And so the cats jump on this and they're not, their weight's not even getting to the point where it's um, pressing on this wire mesh hard enough to even make it touch the screen. And so the snake is safe in there. So in conclusion, I just want to say that for those of us who are animal lovers and love all animals, or for those of you who are snake lovers but live with somebody in your house that also love cats, it is possible to live with both species. I just want to recap by going over the five options for consideration that I presented to you. And we use all of these options here and they've all worked very well for us. And these are options for consideration to keep your snakes safe from your cats and to keep your cats safe from your snakes. Option number one that we talked about was to have a dedicated snake room. That's a room of your house that all your snake enclosures are in and you don't allow the cats in that room. Obviously it has a door that you keep closed. Option number two is a terrarium or aquarium setup with a traditional screen top, but with a screen protector over that screen top. And that screen protector could be the cardboard packaging that your terrarium initially came in, or it could be a metal mesh top that you get from a pet store, or it could be something that you design on your own and come up with to protect that screen from the cats if they jump on top of it. Option number three is to have a dedicated cat room. That's a room of your house that is set up for your cats and has everything in it that they need for food, water, elimination, and fun and sleeping. Basically, it's a room that you would never have to let them out of um, if you didn't want to, and you keep that door shut. So it keeps your cats safe from any large snakes you have, and it keeps your snakes safe from your cats. Option number four is to keep your snakes in tubs with locking lids. So the tubs protect your snake from the cats. They're a little easier to knock over than the other things we've talked about. And so if you're using tubs for the snakes, um, make sure they have a locking lid and make sure that you have them secured in a way that the cats can't knock them over. And then option number five is a PVC or plastic type of enclosure um, that has a plexiglass front or a glass front. And it just has no way that the cats can get into it because it's molded plastic. Um, and any screens on it are going to be strong metal mesh that the cats can't break through. If you have any ideas of your own about how to keep cats and snakes safe from each other that don't involve getting rid of one of the species. So that's not what this video is about. This video is about learning how to live with both species of animals harmoniously in your home. And it's not about getting rid of one of them as a solution. So, but if you have other solutions, other ideas, similar or different than the ones that I've talked about in this video, as to how you keep your snakes protected from your cats and vice versa, I would love to hear about it in the comments, or you can email me at behavioreducationllc at gmail.com. Thanks very much, and everybody have a great time with your cats and snakes, and be safe.